One of the reasons people fall for husband or wife from vision, these people who say they won't marry until they are a man of God or they are woman of God, tell them who God, those who believe that God chooses. Let me, God does not choose wife or husband for anybody. The reason they are doing this is because they believe that when they see a husband or a wife by vision, that means all these problems others encounter in marriage will not be their portion. You are deceiving yourself. I've told you before, if I have not told you, hear me now. The only place in the Bible where God chose wife or somebody is not for you. Even if it was not God that chose Eve for Adam. On the day we are going to read Genesis chapter 2, I will analyze it for you, we see. God did not choose Eve for Adam. What God made for Adam was availability. God makes things available, then you choose. God did not choose Eve for Adam. Adam chose. Adam had options. I will show you the day we are going to read Genesis 2. So for those of you who think that when you see a wife from prayer and vision of 30 days, they are husband. Then, Nalayo, the only place God chose wife for somebody is not for you. Hosea chapter 1 and 2. Chapters 1 and 2. Have you read the book of Hosea before? Go and read Hosea. That's where God chose wife for somebody. In chapter 1, do you, do you know who God told him to marry? A prostitute. A shower. He saw it in a vision. You see, vision wife, ba? The vision wife is a shower. Go to Je 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 Hosea chapter 1. God did not tell the prophet, the man of God, to come to St. John Meridian and go to the choir and pick a wife. Or go during charismatic uh, prayer meeting, especially during life in the spirit seminar, when everybody is holier than Moses and pick a wife. He did not send anybody to go to adoration ground. He did not send the man of God to go to any church. Do you know where he sent the man of God to go and pick wife? Zone 4. That is the only place in the Bible where God decided for one man who he will marry. Prostitute. In chapter 2, God still told him, go and marry another woman. An adulteress. He said, still go and marry her. All of this is the symbolic action of the prophet to tell the people of Israel how God has clung to you and I despite our prostitution and our infidelity. And he said, be ye perfect as your heavenly father is they will not tell you this one. They want to see vision for you so that, see, if God is to decide who you will marry, <laughs> oh God, many of us will not marry. <laughs> because who God will give you, but you will be running as in you will run like this. You want to marry a tall girl, a tall man, God will bring one shot and say, this is the one you will marry. <laughs> Praise God. So don't give up. You must do something. You must do something. Don't give up on your marriage. Don't give up on your relationship because of all of this. Don't give up on your dream. Don't give, up, don't give up on your vision. Stop feeding on the things that sap your energy. And for Elijah, it was fear. An energetic, strong man of valor. What was just him? Did you know Jezebel had not even sent soldiers yet? And Elijah was already dying. Hallelujah. Though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, no evil will I fear. It is the fear of evil. That is the problem. To watch full videos and get notifications for new ones, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. God bless you. Sign up with the largest community of Catholics online, make new friends, chat, post pictures and videos, make and receive audios and video calls, interact with lots of priests and religions. Download the app from Google Play Store.